the racing world is vibrating with excitement. From a Kiwi superstar's spectacular NASCAR bibu to the rising strain on a driver's playoff aspirations, what if we told you there's a surprise in store? But in the middle of all the excitement, one driver's luck seems to be going downhill, leaving us to wonder, can he turn things around and make it to the playoffs? Join us as we unearth the intriguing story of an acclaimed New Zealand racer's probable full-time switch to NASCAR. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. In a sensational start to his NASCAR journey, the sensational Kiwi sensation Shane Van Gisbergen has set the racing world abuzz with his remarkable debut victory. Now, the talented driver has set his sights on conquering the pinnacle of American stock car racing, expressing his keen interest in becoming a full-time contender in the prestigious series. Currently under contract with the esteemed Triple Eight team in the Supercars Championship until the culmination of 2024, Van Gisbergen's aspirations for NASCAR won't be hindered by his existing commitments. Jamie Wincup, the managing director of T8, acknowledged that the team would not stand in the way of their star driver's dreams if an enticing opportunity arose across the globe. Oh, for sure. Yeah, he's only contractually bound to us for next year. But me sitting here right now, of course, I'm trying to run the business as well as I possibly can. I need the best drivers. But if any driver, engineer, employee come to me and said, hey, I want to, uh, my dream is to, to go to the other side of the world and do something else, then I'm not going to stand in their way, am I? I, I you know, I've, I, uh, I want I want I want to open up opportunities for for, for all my staff. So um, we'll we'll see. I'm sure SVD is just on a wave right now. I, I need him to dial into this weekend because we're racing at Townsville for round six of our championship. So let's uh, focus on that first. But um, no doubt we're going to have some discussions the next month or so and work out what he wants to do. And he's certainly got my my praise. Uh, whatever he wants to do, and um, we're going to support him all the way. Van Gisbergen's recent triumph at the Chicago Street Race amplified speculation about his potential move to America, fueled further by his discontent with the recently introduced Gen 3 cars in the Australian series. The combination of his remarkable achievement and his yearning for a new challenge has ignited rumors of an international transition. Recalling past success stories, such as the revered Marcus Ambrose, who departed the Supercar series in 2006 to embark on a flourishing career in America. It becomes evident that pursuing new horizons can lead to remarkable achievements and further enhance a driver's legacy. With his NASCAR triumph and his sights set on conquering the American racing scene, Shane Van Gisbergen's potential move across the globe promises to be an enthralling chapter in his illustrious career, capturing the imagination of motorsport enthusiasts worldwide. Van Gisbergen's arch nemesis, Scott McLaughlin, made a similar move across the Pacific Ocean, but took a different path by pursuing a career in open-wheel racing, ultimately establishing himself as a prominent figure in the IndyCar series. Taking inspiration from these remarkable transitions, it appears that Shane Van Gisbergen might be contemplating a leap into the thrilling world of NASCAR. In the scorching heat of NASCAR's groundbreaking street race, Van Gisbergen showcased his exceptional talent, leaving the competition in the dust. Piloting his number 91 Chevrolet Camaro, the Kiwi driver left everyone spellbound with his masterful display of racecraft, executing audacious overtakes and firmly asserting his dominance on the challenging 2.2-mile circuit nestled in the heart of Chicago. As a seasoned competitor in the Supercar Series, Van Gisbergen had honed his skills on the unforgiving city streets throughout his career, granting him a distinctive advantage over his rivals. This familiarity with the nuances of street circuits proved pivotal in his triumph. However, the intrepid driver acknowledged that his prowess might not translate as seamlessly in oval racing, where he believes he would face significant disadvantages. Van Gisbergen revealed, I'm sure if it was an oval, it would be the other way around. I guess this is my sort of bread and butter, the street circuits. We do almost half of our series races are, are street, street circuits. So I'm comfortable with the walls. Um, took me a bit to learn the proximity of the car, um, having the car on the other side of me. So I was missing apexes, turning left and struggling turning right to know where that side of the car was. Um, but yeah, I got, I got better and better. And in qualifying, I left a lot on the table. Like it's very intimidating on these straights. You have 
a 90 degree corner and no runoff. So I left a lot on the table on braking and every lap today I was learning and getting better. But In the broader context of NASCAR's global aspirations, the success of the Chicago race and the remarkable Garage 56 program at Le Mans seem to be connected by a common thread. Shane Van Gisbergen himself, Roland Dane, a highly accomplished team owner in the Supercars Championship, recently revealed his efforts to propose Van Gisbergen for the prestigious Garage 56 program. In an article in Speed Cafe, Dane expressed his hopes that those who had previously overlooked the Kiwi driver would now reassess their perception of his immense capabilities. As the checkered flag waved, it reminded me that early last year, I nominated SVG to GM to drive the Garage 56 Camaro at Le Mans this year. However, GM in the US decided to pursue other options, Dane shared. Now, perhaps they will truly recognize Shane as the world-class driver that he is. There is simply no better and more versatile driver on GM's roster anywhere in the world today. Dane also expressed his astonishment at the underestimation of Van Gisbergen by several NASCAR drivers, considering his exceptional talent and background. I am genuinely amazed that some of the regular NASCAR drivers seem oblivious to his presence, Dane wrote. The post-race comments provided some amusement, but one would expect these drivers and teams to have done their homework. Or could it be that they exist within an American bubble, oblivious to the train hurling down the tracks? With Van Gisbergen's remarkable debut win and the realization of his immense potential, it becomes evident that his journey has become a defining narrative within NASCAR and the broader motorsport community. His accomplishments are not only rewriting the record books, but also challenging preconceived notions and captivating fans around the world. What are your thoughts on this win of Shane Van? Let us know in the comments section below. And be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. Shane Van Gisbergen's electrifying performance in the NASCAR paddock had tons wagging, fueling speculation about his future plans. The Kiwi sensation confirmed that a full-time Cup Series season still holds great appeal for him, especially with the increased inclusion of road courses in the racing calendar. While Van Gisbergen admitted that his foam has been ringing off the hook, he clarified that he hasn't received any concrete offers yet. Nevertheless, he expressed his desire to return and give it another shot, highlighting the enjoyment and thrill he experienced during his NASCAR outings. The allure lies in the diverse range of tracks and formats that NASCAR offers, going beyond the traditional one-and-a-half-mile ovals. The prospect of six to eight road courses in the coming years particularly captivates Finn Gisbergen, as he has heard high praise from fellow drivers about the evolving nature of the series. Despite securing a NASCAR Cup Series victory, Van Gisbergen acknowledged that he doesn't envision achieving the same level of success on oval tracks. He attributed this to the combination of high-speed ovals and the unique left-hand drive cars, which create an entirely different world compared to his familiar supercars environment, describing his experience as awe-inspiring and eye-opening. Exuding confidence in his element during the Chicago Street race, Van Gisbergen etched his name in the history books by becoming the first driver in the Cup Series in six decades to triumph in their debut outing. As the NASCAR playoffs loom just around the corner, drivers on the playoff bubble find themselves facing mounting pressure and among them, one driver who should be particularly concerned is Alex Bowman. Recent races have been marred by a series of misfortunes and disappointing finishes, causing him to slip down the championship standings. Currently occupying the 20th spot, he finds himself a mere 26 points below the playoff cutoff line. Bowman's season began on a high note displaying consistent performances that even propelled him to the top of the championship standings. However, an injury setback forced him to miss a few races, and since then, he and his Hendrick Motorsports team have been struggling to recapture their early season form. The once potent combination of speed and consistency has dwindled, and unfortunate incidents, such as the recent wreck instigated by Denny Hamlin, have further dampened Bauman's hopes of securing a playoff spot. The remaining races leading up to the playoffs will prove crucial for Bauman's chances of securing a postseason berth. He must deliver strong finishes and steer clear of any more strokes of misfortune. Moreover, he faces formidable competition from other drivers eagerly vying for those coveted playoff positions. 
The pressure extends not only to Bauman, but also to several other drivers in a similar predicament. With limited opportunities left to accumulate crucial points, even the slightest slip-up or below-par performance could have grave consequences for their playoff aspirations. The intensity of the competition is palpable as the decisive cutoff race at Daytona International Speedway looms ever closer. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.